So there you have it, Nicole David taking that first string match against Raneem El Walili. So next on to court, Nora El Shabini, the 19 year old, taking on Lo We Wern. And then the third string match is between Omnia Abdelkawi and Adelia Arnold. So Jonathan, this could be uh, very interesting. There's not much between these two in ranking. Shabini, number four in the world. Lowy Wern, the number seven. And obviously, with uh, Malaysia taking that first match, that does put that extra little bit of pressure on Egypt, knowing that they have to win this one to stay in it. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure for sure on the young Egyptian, but uh, she's beaten Lowy Wern uh, already this, uh, this year, beat her in Texas. I'd imagine on a back court, which would be a, a club court. And she's got lots of firepower, so you know uh, she's going to like her environment out here on the glass court. When you've got a lot of shots and you've got a good reach, then you want to be playing on a court like this. So you have to think Sherbini's favorite, but uh, the way Lowy Warren manages the court, yeah, she could really uh, cause her fits, right? She just keeps that ball out of the middle, and if, if her game is a little off and the tension gets to... Sherbini, uh, then we have ourselves a, a real tough match. So do you think uh, we were and we'll have a similar tactic uh, to Nicole David against Raneem, trying to lengthen out the rallies, take away the time of the, uh, the supremely talented Egyptian player? No question. You want to bury a girl like this in the back of the court. Uh, she hits such a great ball and she likes to be in front and she reads the game so well so when she puts her opponent in a compromising position she just Time. hunts the next ball so well and finishes it off so she'll have to play great defense and really get her balls all the way through the court and uh, try to frustrate her at the back of the court Did you see the toss? I didn't. <laughs> I barely paid attention to that when I was playing my own matches. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. I just find that it sets the tone for the match. I had a, I think for every different brand of racket, I had a different uh, sort of call. I know princes were always down. Heads were always up. That sounds uh, almost like a superstition. No, it's fact. <laughs> It's uh, a <laughs> scientific basis. Scientific. Yeah. It's science. Respect it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you develop a few idiosyncrasies as an athlete trying to, to serve. find different ways to well, win. We were in a to receive. Well, a good start then for the Egyptians, according to your uh, science. Shabini winning the toss. Best of five games, level. And uh, important, you feel, for her to get to get off to a good start here. Absolutely, she put that ball in place so quickly. She's ready for action. Yeah, that was uh, the quick serve of a 19-year-old. <laughs> yes. And that's what... No need to gather your thoughts, just get on with it. That's it, she wants... Uh, she wants it to happen and happen now. And you can see we weren't wants to just attack that attention span of Shervini and play in the high, tight balls. She hasn't gone anywhere near the front of the court yet. Just keeping that ball away from Shervini. That one's short. That's good movement by we weren't. And again, that good movement so important, jumped on that b short ball and uh, beat her with a straight cross court.
we were in choosing to play the ball above the line, right around that line, giving herself enough time to get back to the tee. Yeah, that's a lovely paced ball, isn't it? To your left. She's got the right weight. You know she's come into this with a game plan, and she just wants to sort of drag her into a, a shooting counter punch type of situation by giving her slow balls to try to take in sharply. There's a stroke. Stroke two, Malaysia. It's another nice Hello. contrast in, uh, in styles here. That's it. Great hold by Sherbini, pushing We Wern back. Oh, earns a so stroke of and her own. One, three. And uh, Norel Sherbini, obviously, a World Open runner up this year, has shown that she's capable of beating anyone on her day, but has also had a few losses to lower ranked players as well. And I guess that's. Uh, part and parcel of being 19. Maybe uh, not quite the consistency, but uh, an incredible Two, three, career already. Only 19 years old, number four in the world. We Wern has made some great gets already so far. Sending a message to Sherbini that she's here, to, four, she's here to play. She has lovely movement, doesn't she? She really does. She gets down low. As the player is striking a loose ball, she stays nice and low, plays great defense, and lifts the ball. That's a great length. Yes, Lynn. That was a good Four, two. tactical let by uh, Sherbini. Got to watch those cross courts we were in. That was a little loose. Sherbini didn't punish her this time, but she can do it in a heartbeat. There's a loose ball. Great balance by we were in. Good hold. I know it's early stages in the match, but uh, I'm very impressed with the game Five, plan. Two. We weren't come up in the Malaysian team. You have to think that uh, you got to give a little credit to the team. I'm sure they've had a few discussions around this match, and but uh, it's always the athlete that has to implement it, and she's doing a great job. She's looking very Five. solid. She's uh, you've got to go on against these Egyptian girls, expecting that there's going to be a few winners and not let that worry you too much. If you do the right things, put the ball in the right areas, you're gonna get results. It's a tight length, could be trouble, yep. Four, five. It was great pace of a drop shot there. She just held the ball and then played that in so quickly. Not hard, but quickly. Such a great touch. Good boast. And out. Kind of caught her sleeping there. Six, four. Lulling her to sleep with the high drives and then firing in a quick boast. Nothing wrong with that play. Good defensive lob. Wow, a couple times she's Seven, left Sherbini at the front and I thought she'd be in trouble, but we weren't balance and movement off those hard drives. It's been impeccable so far. Again, just 
chance there. Lifting the ball, getting herself back to the tee. Yeah, she's using the front wall very well here to keep herself in the rally. Oh. A little frustrated there. She was there and kind of pulled off the shot and whiffed it. And there, five, I thought seven. she was there in time. But really uh, trying to control the pace here. Good counter drop. Second good one of the match. Five, seven. It's a let, but uh, displaying good touch. Jeez, no let Six, there. Seven. She moves straight to the ball. Could have been a stroke. Definitely a let, I thought, but. Absolutely. I've only, I don't know, seen three billion squash matches. <laughs> what do we know? <laughs> <laughs> and we've been talking about what great movement she has there. But the ref may be feeling she couldn't get that ball back somewhat surprisingly, but never mind. Stroke two, she gets it so now. There's a soft stroke too. Felt Sherini got out of the way just in time. What do you think? That was that was right on the borderline though. Two wrongs do make a right sometimes. It's uh, the motto of the refer modern referee. <laughs> Not impatient, not trying to finish it, just working her into that front left corner with that volley. The key to we were in success is to not make any errors. Just keep making life difficult for Shabini. Make her force all the play. So far she's been successful with the counter attack. Looks like exact, that's exactly what her tactic is, and she's uh, executed it very well so yes, far. Eight, six. And she never looks rushed on there. I think that's because she does control that pace so well with that medium pace ball down the wall. Medium pace with great width. It's just uh, you've got to create the game. And those are tough balls to deal with. That's trouble. She left that one up. Stroke to Egypt. Crowd no. not happy with that. What do you think of that one? Bit uh, harsh? Bit harsh. I and thought it could have been a stroke. Eight. She did miss that drop and uh, left it pretty loose. And she did read it. She was on it quite quickly. Yeah. Possibly just enough room. Pains to me to let, agree with that, but. Uh, Shabini just taking every opportunity she can to hit that ball hard and up the pace. And what's her fitness level like, Shabini? Has she been known to get tired, the girls? What's yes, the chatter? Seven, eight. Uh, I mean, possibly only against the very, very top girls. Um, you know, but when you're, you're making World Open finals and British Open finals, you've got to have a pretty decent level of fitness. to Egypt. She's, uh, she gets the stroke there to draw level eight at eight all. all. She's, uh, she's a very strong athlete, obviously, very tall, real powerhouse. But, uh, she, you know, she is only 19, so still a lot, uh, a lot of work that can be done there. Yes, left. Eight all, left. 
so that she can really maximize that natural power that she has. Great whip by Lee Wern. Yes, Lap. We've got ourselves a very chippy, bumpy match. Uh, both fighting for the same position and uh, Maybe this will turn into some fireworks, who knows. Yeah, I think both recognizing the importance of these points, eight all in the first game. Not wanting to give away too much space on there. It's a good whip. She's not gonna get a let there. No let. There's and a lot of distance between herself and the ball Five there. Eight. And she uh, doesn't argue that one. That slow ball again. Tight. Yes, lap. Nine, eight, right? And uh, we weren't just trying to show the referee that she uh, wanted to get that ball. So much is trying to educate them on what they're watching right having to show them that you could get to that ball so she took the extra effort and extra step to show she was there in time it was well done on her part the wrong choice it's ball was ambitious ball was running away from her and Sherbini was hunting it so that had to be a lob good reach by Sherbini yes left I know How big is this next point? Jeez. You know, if Malaysia gets this, you're gonna be able to feel the tension of all your compatriots in Egypt. Great shot, good get. Get it. There out of girl. Great movement. Yes, left. Nine all right. I thought he was gonna give this try. <laughs> You have to commend We were in on that spin around right side, get nine, on oh. that cross. Amazing. Court. It was great. It was great. And hitting a pretty good shot off it as well. Unforced air from there. Wow. It's crushing. 10 9, game ball. We win, will have enjoyed that one clanging into the tin. For sure. Gives her a game ball in this crucial first game. team is sitting in the crowd somewhere watching these matches well they'll be happy that these have been absolutely ferocious matches so tough physically even already the first game of this one that last match was a real physical battle
I know we were in this game is counter punching, but she needs to do that. Oh. She needs, that was great. Still take those opportunities when you when you're presented with them, and that's exactly what she did on that last ball. And she takes the first game. 11-9, game to Malaysia. That was it. She, one game to left. There was a couple of opportunities where she hits a good length and the ball's coming up and she just needs to move forward and take that ball in on the next shot. Instead, yeah. she'll just back up and play another length and just absorb, absorb. But what she did right there was uh, very clever and won her the game. Yeah, she's a, she's a little bit more comfortable on the counter-attack, waiting for Shabini to go in short and then getting on the ball early. But uh, you're right, she needs to take those opportunities. And she's uh, more than capable of doing so. And very good signs for the Malaysian team. They lead 1-0 in matches and 1-love in the second match. Fifteen seconds. Ladies, before we start, I'd like to talk to both of you. Please, I want, I need to see you both make more effort to clear the ball and more effort to play this ball. Malaysia leads, one game to love, love all. So, uh, that's quite interesting. The referee telling both players that uh, they need to make more effort to both clear and play the ball. And Shabini makes the first error. Oh, what a great play, good volley. I was trying to get over to the Egyptian camp and listen in to what they were saying to Shervini, but one, my Arabic is failing me. And two, too many people couldn't get through. So I got no updates on you, but uh, she's got to do something to turn this match around. Yeah, it's tough, That's to, a good uh, night. <laughs> tough to find a weakness at the moment in uh, Lowy Wern's game. She's playing the perfect game plan right now for, uh, 
for sure, Dini. It's good depth, good width, and again, hold and too wide. And a little more aggressive. That's a couple Three, volleys in a row. And uh, maybe she picked something up in that last point. Yeah, but even when she's volleying, she's uh, she's not overhitting. She's still finding that lovely weight of shot. That's so true. What now? That is a great angle. And out. One three. Only 33 more of those, and she's home free. Maybe that's what the coaches were saying. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, 33 winners, and we're there. If only it was that simple. This girl can pull it off. There's two in a row. She just played an ill-advised cross court at the wrong time. She needed to lift that ball high and straight and tried to go behind her and got punished. And they love those quick points, the Egyptian players. And there's another one. And uh, in a matter of seconds, she suddenly Drawn level again at three all. There it is again, that cross court. She's got it. Stroke to Malaysia. And Just out. missing Four that three. forehand straight. Again, great balance by Wee Wern. Like, the cross court was on, and she stayed at home long enough to shift directions for the straight ball and get the stroke. That's a good choice. Boasting her up, opening the court. That was not her best accuracy of the match, but still controlling the rally. Yes, left. 4-3. And just uh, Five, snatching three. that volley. Just trying to force that one in there. That was not... Uh, on for the kill, she was off balance. She, she could have played a a movement volley drop in there just to work her into the front corner, but instead she tried to go with the outright winner. Balance just wasn't there. That's good length. Watch Sherbini's tee position. She's almost behind the service box. Which is Six, not normal for her. Right but side. We weren't is not giving her any balls at the front of the court. And do you feel like uh, from the matches we've seen so far that that uh, slower pace of ball is just more effective on these on this glass court? That those really hard hit drives, sometimes just sit up in the service box. Very much so. I mean, squ squash is so much about control and so little about power. The power Four, needs to be in your movement, but uh, the weight of the shot, power is something that's earned by hitting a good width and getting a loose ball. Then you can use power, but from these tight positions, you just want to get that ball as far from the middle as possible, like th like these nice balls up and down the wall. Down. That was nice. Nice call. Five, six. There's very few people that I've seen that have won on power at the top level. I think John White comes to mind. Yeah. Sarah Jane Par Par Perry, as of today. Yeah. But... Uh, Fitzy uh, used to like uh, bashing that ball around the court. For but sure, but uh, it was, was her pace accurate. of her movement. Her yeah. pace of her movement. Yeah. It was a bit like Nicole. She's on the ball so early and then just able to outpace the other girls. That's what I remember best about Sarah. Great accuracy, phenomenal footwork.
And it's that change of pace that is so difficult to, to do. There it is. Great shot. That's just tee position, right? Like she's just been playing so many deep balls and then one came cross and she put in a simple volley drop and Trebini was nowhere near it. Just picking it off. Got to do more of that. I like the way she's uh, mixing it up, mixing it up like that. This is great. Just That's it. Go back to defense. Oh, unlucky. Tough to see on that wall. Just touching the Third. line, I think. And out six seven. Now I heard you had some of the influence uh, with the court and, and painting it blue, that you were partly responsible, if not solely responsible, for the outlines being blue. Is that true? No, I said they need to be yellow. Oh, okay, sorry. It's an awful rumor going around this tournament. Oh, jeez, oh, she didn't finish that stroke. And out, 8-6. Don't listen to gossip. Apparently not. Out again. I cannot tell. I can't Balls make out. a judgment call. It's and out seven eight. Very tough to see. It's driving me crazy. For the rest. refs as well. Do you think that was like a board decision? Like a group of people got together and, and made the blue line decision? Yeah, let's put a blue line on a blue wall. <laughs> to it's not rocket science, really, is it? <laughs> no. No, just... Oh, take this one to take in that short ball on the forehand. Good hold. Oh, wow. And uh, the ball was quite high, but uh, she really did wrong foot her, completely going the wrong way. Tried to recover, but a little bit too late. Eight all, crucial points coming up. Just like last game. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if we weren't can hunt another one of those drop shots. There it is. That was a good chance, good choice too, not to play it. And Norel Shabini really needs this game. Yes, lad. Eight all, left side. The whole of Egypt needs this game. Probably so not the thing that Norel Shabini wants to be thinking right now, but you're absolutely right. Remember at this stage, last game, Sherbini got that nine all ball. I know it's eight all, but she buried that easy one in the tin. That's gonna be a let. Yes, that. It's the right call. We weren't just eight missing ball. that forehand kill, That's unlucky. Side. And uh, both players fully aware how important this, this next point could be. Not wanting to give anything away. Great hold. She's playing a brilliant rally, this rally, Sherbini. Unlucky. A little too eager to maintain the attack, Sherbini, and uh, left herself in a compromised position, but 
got out of it unscathed. Gotta take that volley. Yes, lad. Nine eight. On the that right. slow floating one across the court is where she's gotta step up and do something with that, but uh, can't get it all right. She's been playing phenomenal squash, nevertheless. Good pick off the wall, that's the one. That ball glues to the wall. It takes considerable racket work to be able to drag it off the wall and keep it tight like that. And she's just letting those balls go through the court. Giving up position to it. A girl who loves to be on the tee. Hold. No. Straight drop would have done. Oh, and she flips the 10. Two crucial errors. 10 8, game ball. Gives uh, El Shabini two game balls to draw level in this match. Now the ice cold we were in has uh, shown signs of uh, human error, I guess. Uh, the anxiety creeping in. Yeah, anxiety, you think? Not fatigue at all? Not well, yet. I wouldn't say at this stage. I mean, she's such a fit girl, and the rallies have been pretty one pace, nothing too out of her comfort zone, right? It wasn't like the last match where the pace was ferocious. This is at a. It's like going for a slow, long run as opposed to a hard course sprint, you know? Yeah. And she Brit has controlled the pace very well so far, playing within herself. Absolutely. That's going to be a let. Oh, that is shocking. That there is that is a that is an absolute shocker. Got to clear the ball. How so, is uh, that possible? The referee you need to warned clear the ball. both players before this second game that they both needed to start clearing and playing Game's the ball. Time, but that was extremely harsh. That was an incidental let. However, the stroke is given, and Norel Shabini takes that game 11 8 in 16 minutes. So, two long games so far, and it's one all.
15 seconds. So we're all level at one all. We're uh, still slightly perplexed by that uh, last decision in that game here in the commentary box. But uh, low we were and we'll have to put that out of her mind. Refocus. She's played very well in this match so far. And there's uh, everything to play Egypt. for. One all. Egypt to serve. Yeah, hopefully she settles back into that nice rhythm she had. She got a little tense from eight all. Missed a couple of straight drops. But uh, yeah. by and large, she's played uh, great tactically and, uh, and, uh, and technically. Hasn't made hardly any errors. Good. That's aggressive, putting that ball down. I like it. Two left. Happy start uh, from uh, El Shabini in this third game. She brought it back straight from three love last time, so let's see if she can settle herself and get back to three all. Not with length like that. And a beautiful drop by a wee Warren. Four love. And uh, so difficult to play against opponents who uh, sort of dip in and out of matches. Four love. Now, that's the referee sort of making her play that ball, or is that, that was just a sort of in between there? Confuses no the players. Idea. It I'm just confuses sure. the players, stuff like that. Good low light. Oh, good get. Again. Good choice. Wow. Low rewind has just really impressed me with the technical side of her movement. Her ability to lunge, her ability to stay low and get back in the point. She's just absolutely refusing to be drawn into this hard hitting game that Shabini is so determined to play. That's it. Good choice. Just lift that ball. Oh, that's going to be trouble. Great get. Wow. What a great rally. Some great defensive play from Lowy Wern. And Shabini had to finish that rally a few times. Four. Great attack. And she didn't get impatient. She waited for the nice finish. It's good on Shabini's part when. You're starting to feel the pressure down for love. Not to get over anxious. Spreads out. Oh, she should have played that one into the open space instead trying to go behind herself. Loose ball there. You've got to drop that. That's where she needs to either hit the drop or use a little bit more speed. And hit that ball a bit harder. That's it. Put that ball down. Make her move quickly to that. That's just too soft. Good choice. Oh, hunting for the stroke because she was not near that. No let. Good. It was a let, but uh, she was really trying to, trying to draw a stroke out of uh, out of the referee, and they're being very punitive. You make need 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 to make more effort to play the ball. You've given her a decision. Thank you. I feel like she did uh, decide that she was going to try and get a let there and very early on, one. but uh, still somewhat harsh to give the no let. So 5-1. Uh, Stroke to Malaysia. Jeez, 
There's a bit of a lottery going on here. She <laughs> absolutely. Completely clear from that stroke. But it's giving me anxiety about my past life. <laughs> Bringing back unhappy memories. And I'm wearing a suit jacket right now. Oh, gets the nice bounce. 7 1 up here. Right but, side, uh, 7 1. A little bit of luck, which can come in so handy. Gives us 7 1, and that's a big lead. Couple of referee interventions and a bit of luck. Goes back yeah. to the same play, and that was well done. Great volley drop, forcing the cross court drop because there's no other choice. And goes with the delicate pillow soft drop. Balance again by Wee Wern. Jumps on that ball at the front. Mel Shabini's going to be trying to get some quick points in here. Oh! Well done. A little bit of deception from the Malaysian. Just fading it across the court. And out. Eight, two. So much of that deception was getting on it so early and then playing a great angle. 8-2. Malaysia running away with this one, but we know how quickly Sherbini can put points together, so. being so steady. Reacted a little late to that boast. Oh, she'll get that. Beautiful That's counter lovely. drop in the nick. Great movement, great hands. That's a phenomenal shot from that position. Nine, give two. her 20 of those. She, what do you give her four, three or four of them? If that. Yeah. And that's out, and that gives her Ten eight. Two. Game ball. <laughs> <laughs> Ten two. Count them up, Vanessa. <laughs> that's game. Well put together game by Lo Wee Wern and the Malaysian camp. Eleven two. Game to Malaysia. Mostly Lo Wee Wern. Malaysia leads two games to one. <laughs> The cheering was strong to very strong from the Malaysians. And uh, Lo Wee Wern takes that game 11-2 in only eight minutes. By far the shortest game of the match. And uh, Malaysia lead 2-1. And this is the closest that they've ever been to a World Team Championship final. And Egypt in all kinds of trouble. And uh, so far, we've been treated to some great squash and s some very close matches and two great semi-finals. Forty-one countries, over 6,000 athletes. The whole world is watching us now. Tickets on sale now for the largest multi-sport games ever in Canada. The Toronto 2015 Pan Am Games. Fifteen seconds. Done. 
So what an opportunity this is for the Malaysian team. They're leading one love in matches and two one here. And we were played to one. so well in this Bravo. match. Been by far the more consistent player. Can she hold her nerve? That will be the question. Great get. Well, Sherbini gets off to her best start yeah, yet. One, one. And uh, really was aggressive taking that ball in. She's really uh, knows that this is uh, crunch time. And it's tied one all here one in the fourth. All. Beautiful, sticking to that high, slow length, clinging it to the wall. Pins her on that one. That me. is not the right call. It was no. loose, but she pinned her and in there, there and it was smart, smart play by Sherbini, knowing that the referees are giving away soft calls. Absolutely. And uh, we were not even bothering to argue there. She just wants to get on with it. That's great. She's going to do it with her squash. And that too so Good early signs from her. And she so showed such composure in this match. Being absolutely unflinching with her game plan. Oh, good balance, but couldn't finish it with a good drive. Unlucky. If you were Sherbini right now, what do you have to do? I'm not sure that she... Uh, I'm not sure that uh, she has a different game plan. This is the way she plays. She wants to play fast, hit the ball hard. And uh, she's either going to have to do that better or she's not going to win this match. I think that's well said. I just don't see the same kind of variety and ability to adapt to the situation as uh, somebody as experienced as we were. And she came in with a solid game plan. Mind you, if you ask we were to step up her game and play really quickly, I don't know if she'd be able to do it either. But uh, it just seems like as a matchup on a court like this, it's a very difficult ask for uh, an attacking player to be that consistent exactly. over. Exactly. Yeah. The the, uh, the game that uh, we won plays naturally is just being rewarded on this court yes, and Three, against two, uh, this opponent. And she still has to obviously execute it well and consistently, which she is doing. But it's uh, absolutely the right tactic. I'd have to say a little, a few holds and cross courts and holds and both might open up uh, We were in a little bit more because she needs the rally to be open. She needs angles. She can't just keep playing stuck to the wall because We Weren's movement will be too good. So she needs to create. Yeah. Oh. Two. Those hurt. For sure, she had that on her racket. And the Egyptians will be getting very nervous watching this. Now, 
Flat ball. Can't be sure. Oh, oh wow. I've got absolutely no idea. This is, this is what you need for uh, video review, but I thought I thought she picked it up. I thought if anything it was down on the front wall. I thought she got it on the on the first bounce. I couldn't tell because uh, of the depth on the front wall, but uh, I th thought she was appealing for a double Malaysia bounce. Serving. The body language of both players almost made me think that maybe she didn't get it. From right. the right, we one seemed very convinced immediately, and Shabini, Shabini kind of faltered but then realized that the ref hadn't called it. But either way, a let possibly the fairest outcome. Agreed. We were in, should have jumped all over that regardless. Exactly. Waited for the call. It's a mistake on her part and she knows it. That's it one. Oh, just clipped the side wall, otherwise that was dead. Again. Wow, she's got her really working here. Stroke. Yes, lap. It's the right call. Four, two. You know they've been handing them out like uh, candy at Halloween. So you, you thought that uh, the stroke might get uh, called, but I don't think it was a winning situation. And it's uh, very difficult to see how uh, Norel Shabini could, ch could possibly uh, start to turn this around unless Low We Wern falters mentally or gets nervous or changes her tactics. Yeah, which could easily happen as we saw at the and end of the second. She got a little four. anxious, made those two errors. So, I mean, you still got to close out a player of this kind of quality. It's not an easy ask. In a huge match as well. Absolutely. It's never been done for Malaysia. Could get. It's going to be a stroke. Stroke to Egypt. So good at uh, following her shots up and pinning the girl. Like, uh, it's. Uh, there was absolutely nowhere for uh, we went to go there. There's nowhere to clear. And uh, it's a great tactic if you want to win the point. It's within her right to do so. Quickening, much to Sherbini's liking. Yep. And that's a great rally for Norel Sherbini, and she knows it. Five, four. And she reels off three points in a row to take the lead, five, four. Just when you thought uh, she was almost out of it, We Wern's lost her rhythm, beautiful rhythm. That, I mean, she was walking a fine line with that. It's so hard to keep that all the way through, but it just seems so natural. Just put that down. Five, four. Great choice of shots. We haven't seen that, I don't think, at all from She has not hit work. that shot all match. And, out, five, all. and that's, uh, that's brilliant to uh, come out with a boast of that quality. And Shabini was nowhere near that. She should play it in more. It's a lot less risk than playing the drop. Boast is a much easier shot to accomplish when your feet are set. Doesn't take as much touch. Oh, got a bounce. Oh, she needed to have her racket up. Unlucky, but good, great play by Sherbini, jumping on the ball, seizing the moment. And this is uh, this is a tough one to call. Predictions. Uh, I don't want to say anything at this stage. 
I just uh, think that it's, it's too close to call, and uh, Sherbini's really starting to come on here, and the rhythm is quickened, and I don't, I don't like. Uh, do you feel like um, we weren't just right these last few rallies just being uh, drawn into? Just a little bit anxious. I think she's thinking about the result, and I think that could prove detrimental. She was in such a beautiful space, and then so quickly you can get out of there. And it's a very subtle change, isn't it? It's, that's a lot. It's a loose ball. Seven five. Well, giving her no room to make an effort of that ball, I thought uh, that was an automatic, but no argument there. Not up. Carry. And suddenly, Eight, five. El Shabini gets a three point lead in this fourth game. And we have a serious match on our hands here. Let's see. She gets one back. Maybe she can try to disrupt the beautiful rhythm of the Six, Egyptian eight. right now. Trebini seems possessed to, to win this. needs to steady the ship. Just go back to uh, controlling that pace. That's a little, it's a fraction lower and a fraction harder. No oh, that is just an absolute brutal call. Seven, eight. That was a nothing ball. I have to say Incredible. this. Well, they, uh, they, they might all even out in the end, but. <laughs> they seem to have evened out. That's exactly what I was about to say, but still. Uh, that's no justification. Oh. She had an open look at a volley there and mistimed it. Yes, left. Seven, eight. Broken string. Sounded like. Yep, that's definitely a broken string. You can hear the the ball's coming loose. You can hear the sound of her striking. And just they both know it. it. <laughs> we weren't just trying you, to keep the ball in there. That's right. You can expect a let call from uh, the crafty Egyptian. Oh, there it is. Yes, left. Broken string. Wow. That's all I can say, really. <laughs> it's just like you couldn't draw up a better stroke than that. Like, nowhere to hit the ball. The girl's pinned in the back wall. You could have hit it four feet high for a winner. I mean, she waited for a fraction of a second, but she's entitled to do that. And even if she hadn't waited, there was still no room to play the shot. It's the quintessential winning situation, right? That the girl's taken away by the interference, and that's what a stroke Seven, is. <laughs> oh, well. Let's move on. Seven, eight. They have, so we should. <laughs> Good reply. Great recovery. She was slightly wrong footed there. Sometimes when you pull a new racket out of the bag, it just doesn't quite feel the same, even though you have it strung the same, same grip. 
They all vary. Great boast. Oh, that's not the right shot. Same play over and over. And uh, Lo, we weren't conceding that. Nine seven. Great hands there by Wee Warren. Desperate to hang on. Oh, the Egyptian gives herself three game balls. And uh, seven. Game El Shabini ball. done very well in the uh, latter stage of this game. That's game. Egypt's tied at two all. They're still in this. See the excitement over in the Egypt camp. Eleven seven. Game to Egypt. Two games all. So Noor El Shabini takes that game. Eleven seven. Another long game. Seventeen minutes, and we're all tied at two all. Fifteen seconds. So everything to play for here. Malaysia leading one love in matches and two all. So uh, El Shabini needs to uh, take this match to keep her country in with a chance. Two games all, Egypt to serve, love all. And uh, she was looking very good, El Shabini, towards the end of that game, I have to say. Yep. <laughs> 
things became uh, very much on her terms. One love. Pace is quickened. You can just see it in her body posture and her eagerness to keep moving forward. She's not the least bit tired. And she wants this. And uh, Lowy Wern did start to look possibly a little bit tired towards the end of that fourth game. And that's just... Playing at a pace that she's not comfortable with. You're right, it's going to be a big ask well. for Lowy Wern right now. She's not moving as beautifully as she was earlier in the match. And uh, she's not able to take the ball in to steal a few points to gain momentum. Once she loses her movement. Three love. Ten more of those because I just don't see her and moving on the ball three. quickly enough th the way she was before. And uh, really, Sherbini would have to lose it from here. I, I, I just, uh, once she loses a little bit of that, uh, that phenomenal. Yeah. Exactly. But four or five points and a little dose of adrenaline could change things, but made a couple good gets there. Well, she's uh, certainly not going to give up easily. Oh, Nick. Oh, my God. The off the back wall winner, up practically. And that is a great rally to win. Just keeps her in touch. Just gives that little glimmer of Two, hope three. that you need to give you a bit of energy when you're feeling fatigued. She's going to have to go on pure adrenaline in this game. That was a great movement. There she goes. Uh, there's That's a big the difference pace. there between 4-1 and 3-2. Absolutely. The three-point cushion in. So important. Sit. And just uh, needs to create that little bit of doubt again in Chavini's mind. She's brimming with confidence at the minute. That's it. She's playing the same height. She's got it back on her terms. Pace is completely slowed. Wow. Forcing her into an error. I don't know if she was forced into an error. She just made an error. Three all right. This has been such a close match all the way through. Yes, left. Three off. Well, that was definitely a let, but you could feel all the anxiety of both girls. Oh. And out. Right. Four, three. Becoming very vocal teams back there, cheering their compatriots on. Oh, wrong footer, just couldn't get it wide enough. Again. that. Great reply from that position. Great squash from both players at this stage of the match. 
And that one just going out at the top of the court. Five, three. So they managed to find the ball. That would have been interesting if they'd had to warm up a new ball at this stage of the match. Stroke to Malaysia. And there. Well, it was big. Four five. Kept her in touch. Only one down. Four five in the fifth. width on that cross court. Searching for the stroke, nobody home. Four, five. Great kill. We haven't seen much of that. She twisted her with a nice cross court, got the short reply, and put it right down into the nick. And she's done very well to stay in touch here. And five all can give you a surge of energy. Well, that's a great. Ooh. Yes, lad. Five all. good. They're not giving these points away for free because they're so important. These strokes really need to be earned. I'd like to see uh, Squash be the winner. Good volley. Mistimed the volley, but good that she volleyed it. Got the error from Sherbini. Six, five. And uh, a lot of lets here. Both players a little bit tense, recognizing how crucial this is. You don't want to give an inch right here. If you make a bigger effort to clear, you could clear yourself out of position and get stung by a shot. So the girls are not only tired, they're playing for every inch out there. Great volley. Six all in the fifth Nine, game, six and this all. could go all the way down to the wire. And it becomes all about nerve. And
and mental strength and tenacity in these matches. Wow, those are some tight balls that were just replied. This is the fourth one in a row. It's finally a loose one. Great hold. Wow. Shabrini really earned that point. 7 6. Forces the off of the back wall. Great choice. Good get. Wow. We weren't all over the court. And forces the error. Unbelievable road work. She put in some miles there. Wow. She is uh, seriously digging in here. And out. Wow. Seven Showing all. incredible guts. Seven all. Oh. Great to see. Crowd heating up here. Oh. She had that straight forehand volley. She elects to go back cross court. She does that more often than not. talked about uh, Shabini's fitness early in the match and I have to say it's been pretty impressive. Very. She hasn't so shown a hint of exhaustion. Still moving beautifully back to the tee. Nearly a back wall nick there. That would have been heartbreaking at several. Uh, Tight to the wall, forces the loose one. There's the shot. Nice reply by Sherbini. Uh, though we weren't takes no risk with that one. Resets the point. A little bit of bumping, good width in the cross. There's the forehand. Chooses the boast. Oh. Oh, what a shot. That's gets the no let. Too good. Stuck to the side wall, really short. Eight, seven. And what a great shot at this stage of the match when you've got tired legs. That whole rally, she put Sherbini to work there. And you've got to have such balance to get into that and hit a shot like that on the counter attack. So few times we've even seen Sherbini on the run like that in this match, and she uh, dug deep. Very impressive. Oh, straight forehand, wrong footing Shabini. Gives her a 9-7 lead. Two points nine away seven. from clinching this. Now she's gonna start to think about it. Shabini needs to dig deep and not give her a cheap one. Make we were and earn this point. That was a stroke. And then eight, nine. Well uh, positioned by the Egyptian. Sold her case to the referee beautifully. Got the stroke. Eight, nine. How big's this point? Oh my gosh. And she nicks it. Absolutely devastating. We Wern has clipped two side walls in a row. Do you think she just thought about it for a minute? I don't know. It's very, very possible. All right. And you've got to keep those thoughts at bay First about the, uh, the importance of the match and just 
concentrate on what you're doing. Easier said than done. Absolutely. First person to get two points clear from nine all in the fifth. And trust me, this is not ping pong in your grandfather's basement. This is two real points for your country. Yes, left. Nine all, left side. I just hope this is one with good squash. Yeah, let's hope there's no uh, decisions towards the end of the match. It's been such a great example of good squash, good sportsmanship. Because of the moment, the adrenaline's pumping, and now she's hitting the ball very hard and playing into the pace of Sherbini. She might just play herself out of position because Sherbini has the power. Yes, left. Nine off, left. Dramatic pause there oh. from the referees oh. just to create even more tension. The way Sherbini sold the stroke at 7-8 compared to what we were into there is uh, maybe something she could work on. But uh, I think she could have convinced the referee. But the right call was a let, so let's move on. Nice kill. Great reply. a great kill and then didn't do anything with that forehand. No, wrong choice. Yes, left, nine ball. So she called it really early. She got punished with a no let on that earlier. And then also has been given a lot of strokes in that situation, so. I split it down the middle with a let. Match point. And out. Malaysia to go to the finals. 10-9, match ball. What kind of a moment is this for Lo Wee Wern? Chance to bring Malaysia to the finals of the World Team Championships. Never been done. Yes, left. 10-9. The tension, the tension, you can feel the nerves. You're right over there. <laughs> Absorbed. <laughs> Molly. Refuses to go with that straight ball in her forehand. And the loose one. Oh! It's over! It's over! Malaysia's done it! Unbelievable! What a finish! What a finish! Phenomenal match. I don't think we're going to see better competition. Anywhere. Absolutely remarkable. Look at Malaysia, the excitement, the joy. What a team win. Nicole played a fantastic match and then followed up with that kind of a win. Absolutely amazing. Egypt shocked. Well, congratulations for Malaysia's first ever world Team final. Wow. I don't really want to interrupt their celebrations, but I would really like to speak to Lowe Wern after that incredible performance. But before I do so, can you please give her a massive round of applause, Dora El Shabini.
that was incredible. Congratulations. I'm a little bit lost for words, I have to say, after that. What a great match. You've put your country in their first ever World Team Championship final. What does that feel like? It's just, it's just amazing. Like, we knew we had this chance, but Egypt by far is the strongest team. Four players in the top ten. Incredible girls, really nice girls on and off court. So it's really hard against the Egyptian team, and I think both Ranim and Shabini really gave it their all today. And I'm happy to be able to do this for Malaysia and for our team especially. But uh, before you get too excited, you have a final to play tomorrow. And that's going to be quite a final. You'll face England, obviously an incredibly strong team, always great record at this championships. But uh, in rankings, there's not much between you two. So a really great prospect for the spectators, I think. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, even today's match was huge for us and for Egypt as well. And I hope the, the crowd enjoyed the squash matches today. I think they did. And I uh, hope you guys come back tomorrow and catch us in the finals. Are you coming tomorrow to watch? Yeah. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Wee Wern. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Lo Wee Wern and the whole Malaysian team.